Yo, what's up guys? Andy here back with another video. Today we're comparing the Michael Jordan rookie card to the base set Charizard. These are some of the most iconic cards in the hobby. Okay, so this is going to be an interesting comparison today. The Michael Jordan rookie, the base set unlimited Charizard. We're going to be looking at sale prices on eBay. We're going to be looking at PSA population reports. Okay, so this is the Michael Jordan rookie card. This is a 1986 Fleer, arguably the most iconic card in basketball card collecting. And this is the base set unlimited Charizard, arguably the most iconic artwork. This is most likely the one that everyone had as a kid. Although there are some variations of this card, the Shadowless and the Shadowless first edition with the first edition stamp right there. But I thought this comparison with the unlimited version would be the best one to do. So let's take a look at this. First of all, let's look at the population report. So this is PSACard.com. You can come here and look at the population for any card that they've graded. Up here at the top, we'll see the Michael Jordan rookie, card number 57. Total population 18,626. 315 have been graded 10s. So very small portion of the population has graded a 10. 2,709, 7,708. So it looks like the majority that get graded are getting an eight. Now let's take a look at the Charizard Hollow. Again, there's a few different variations here. We wanna look at the unlimited version up the top. Number four in the set, 19,408 have been graded. 436 have graded a 10. So again, very small portion of the population is grading a 10. It's hard to grade. 5,200 graded a nine. 4,600 graded an eight. So it looks like the majority here are grading nines. So if we take a look at these two, you know, they're very similar on the population report side. High population and quite hard to grade a 10. Now let's go ahead and take a look at eBay sales. So we're gonna look at PSA nines for the eBay sales. We can see that the Jordan rookie PSA nine sells for about $53,000. So around the $50,000 range, that was the latest sale February 21st, which is yesterday. Same thing, base at Charizard PSA nine sold February 21st, 2021, yesterday for $2,000. $275, so the $2,000 range. So the Jordan is selling about 25 times more value than the base at Charizard, although that their population reports are quite similar. So what's the biggest difference in these two cards? Well, we can scroll up here. We can see 1986 Fleer, 1999 Pokemon game. So for me, the biggest difference when looking at these is 13 years of data, 13 years of collecting, Will the Charizard reach where the Jordan is at in 13 years time? It's definitely possible. Also, obviously the biggest difference, Jordan is a basketball card, Charizard is a Pokemon card. So we've got sports card collectors versus kind of gaming collectors, TCG collectors, I would say. Either way, I think both types of collectors are very passionate about their hobby. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. I think another interesting thing is looking at the other Charizard variations. We have the Shadowless and the First Edition. Real quick so that everybody can see the difference. This is the unlimited version. You can see that there's a shadow around the box of the artwork. This is considered shadowless. You can see that there's no shadow around the artwork. We're talking about right there. Shadow, no shadow. Then this is just the first edition shadowless with the first edition stamp right there. And mine is actually a gray stamp, which is a more rare variant of the first edition. So there's the three unlimited shadowless and first edition shadowless. And the beautiful thing about these cards, there's a lot of variation in the colors, the print run, that type of thing. You can see like we got some black here in the hollow. This is more of a purple. We got blue wings green wings over here. So yeah, lots of cool, unique stuff with these Pokemon cards. So actually first edition sells for roughly similar prices as the Jordan rookie, but we can see that the first edition, the population report is much lower. You know, there's not even 3000 graded with PSA yet, only 121 tens. So first edition Charizard is a much more scarce card than the Jordan rookie. The Shadowless is kind of in the same boat. So first edition, I would compare the sales to the Jordan rookie. You know, PSA 9 is getting up there. I think it's more around like $40,000 right now. The first edition is going to be the most desired. Shadowless is a little more niche. Um, you can see the population is still very small, especially the PSA 10 population. And this is much less than what the Jordan sells for. So we got the Jordan around 50, 
for a PSA 9. I think Shadow List is below 10,000 for a PSA 9. We can search that real quick. So PSA 9 Shadow List, one just sold for about $10,000 actually. So there you have it, interesting data, very similar population reports. What do you guys think? Let us know down in the comments below. In 13 years time, is the Charizard base set unlimited gonna catch up with the Michael Jordan rookie? Do you think these will kind of play out in the same way? What are your thoughts? Let us know down in the comments. Like and subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Okay. Don't blame your problems on the past. Oh, I hurt. You might wear.